Hello everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video, we created this custom header and we added a context menu for the profile image. And in this video, we're gonna work on our chat list section. So now we're gonna add a user list on the home screen. So for that, let's go to our home component. And uh, we're gonna have a user list here. So let's remove this and let's create a state for storing all the user. And for now, I'll just use dummy data. So it will be an array with this dummy data. So we don't really need this and we're gonna use a component status bar here to make all the fonts in our status bar white. Like this. And here we're gonna check if we have any users, then we will show a user list. Otherwise, we are going to have a container here that will show a loading. Let's give it a class name of flex and item center. And to add a padding top, we will just add a top value. And for that, we'll use our height percentage function. So let's copy it from our sign in screen to this component. And we'll use HP of 30. Um, to get rid of these red lines, we're gonna need to add something if we have the users. So here we will have a chat list component. So let's add chat list. We're gonna pass the users to this component. And for the loading, uh, we will just use a built-in component activity indicator. So let's import that. We will have a large loading component. So let's add size as large. Okay, uh, we will need to create this component. So let's go to our components folder and create a new component, chat list create a function and this will receive the users that we're going to pass from home's component. Let's save this and import it here. Okay, now let's save this and see. Okay, we can see the chat list, but to be able to see this loading, we need to remove this dummy data. Okay, um, why is this small? Okay, so we misspelled this, it should be large. So this is how the loading will show, but you can use the loading component that we created before using Loti animations. So let me import that and let's give this a size of HP 10. And if I save this, we can see the loader, but you can use either one, but I'm going to use the activity indicator here. So I'll just use this and uh, let's add the values so that we can see our chat list component. Okay. Now, we already moved the logout functionality to header so let's remove this and here we're going to have a function get users this will be an async function and here we'll fetch the users from firebird so let's just add a comment for now and we're going to call this inside use effect hook when this component mounts so let's call this function here we're also going to make a check here to see if we have an authenticated user and we have the user UID only then we're gonna make this call so let's add this condition and we will call this get users function for now we will just implement the chat list with dummy data but later we will implement this get users function so now let's go to chat list and start designing let's give this container a class of flex one so that it has a full space and here we're going to use a flat list component to show a list of all the users and the data for this flat list will be the users and let's add the content container style flex one and a padding vertical of 25 now let's add a key extractor for now we'll just use a random value so for that we will just add math.random function and we need to hide the vertical scroll bars so let's add vertical scroll indicator to false and for the item let's use render item property and here we will have the item and the index and we will return a component chat item so let's go to our components and create this component chat item.js and let's create a functional component and save it now let's import it here and we're gonna pass the item data so let's have a property item as the item and let's close it now let's close the flat list component and save it to see if we have any errors 
okay so we can see three items and these are coming from our dummy data so if i go to home you can see we have the dummy data that's why we are seeing three chat items let's also add the index property to chat item in case if we need it now let's go to chat item and here we will receive the item property which will be the user now let's remove this and here we will have a touchable opacity component and inside this we're going to have an image of the user for now we will just use a dummy image from our assets so let's add that go into assets images and avatar.png and for the style let's use our hp function to give this a height of hp uh, we haven't imported it so let's go to sign in and copy this import statement um, let's paste it here and let's give this a height of hp6 and an aspect ratio of 1 and let's close it and save it okay we can see three dummy images and these are coming from our assets as i've already stored all the assets into my assets folder in the images so this is the image that we're currently showing but we'll change this later when we get the actual data from firebase so don't worry about it let's also add a class name to make this image rounded like this okay so after this image we're going to display the name the last message and the time of the message for that user so let's add a comment now we're gonna need to add some classes for the container to make them flex row so let's add a class name and give this a class of flex row justify between margin horizontal of four and item center a gap of three and a bottom margin of four and a padding bottom of four now to separate this we are going to add a border bottom so let's give this a color of neutral 200 okay let's save this um, it shouldn't look like this but maybe we need to add the name so let's add a container for the name and the last message let's make it flex one and gap of one now here we need to add another container for the name and the time of the message so let's make it flex row and justify between now first we will add the name of the user so let's add a text component and here we will just say nomi for now uh, why can't we see it um, did we misspell the height no maybe we should remove this and add a width of hp6 okay we can see the name i don't know why it wasn't working but it should have worked so now let's give this name a style of responsive font size of hp 1.8 now let's add a class name to make it bold so let's add font semi bold and for the text color let's use neutral 800 okay looks good now let's copy this one more time for our time of the message so let's use 1.6 for the font size and uh, let's make it font medium and for the text color let's use neutral 500 and here we will show time okay so here we will show the time of the message if we have the last message now under this row we will add the last message so let's add a style and give it a font size of hp 1.6 and let's also add a class name to make it bold so let's use font medium and text neutral of 500 and here we will show the last message i'm using dummy data for now but we will replace it once we get the data from firebase now we can see the list but i don't want to show the border bottom for the last item so we will need a way to hide this so let's go to chat list component and here i will create a property no border and in this property we will check if the item is the last item so let's say if index plus one equals to the total length of the users that means it's the last item so we're not gonna show the border for the last item now let's also pass a router from this component because we will need it to navigate to message history 
and uh, we cannot do this in chat item because every time chat item renders it will declare the router so that is not a good practice now let's indent this and go to chat item and here we will receive the no border and the router property now let's use this no border property and we have to convert this to backticks let's do that here and uh, let's just copy this border bottom clause and uh, here we need to use the no border property and if that's true we are going to have an empty string otherwise we will show the border bottom so you can see on the last item we don't have the border bottom and it looks good now we're gonna go to home screen and fetch all the users from firebase so go to home component and here we're gonna fetch all the users but before we do that we are gonna check the documentation from firebase to see how we're gonna do that I'm showing you this because if you stuck somewhere you can visit their documentation to see all the implementation so we're gonna use a snippet like this we are gonna use a query function that will receive a reference of the collection and using where function we can apply a condition to any property and here's another example that fetches the cities and if you're curious about the operators here's the list of all the operators that you can use in where condition so if you have more questions about this i will leave the link of this page into the video description so you can check out okay now let's go to our app and first we are gonna need a query so let's create a constant and import the query function and this will receive a reference of the collection so we'll use a users ref we already did this if you remember previously we created this reference into our firebase configuration so now we're gonna use that and here we're gonna create a condition using where function so we need to fetch all the users except the currently logged in user so let's make a condition if the user id is not equal to to the user id of the currently logged in user and we can get the uid of the user and this will fetch us all the users except the currently logged in user so we'll make a query and we will add a where condition where the user uid is not equal to this and this will fetch us all the users so based on this query we're going to call another function to fetch all the data and the function is get docs and we need to pass the query to this function let's create a data array to store the documents data and we're gonna loop through the documents in the query snapshot now this is a bit confusing because for each document data we have to call a data function on each document so let's push all the document data in the data array and we're gonna console log this data to see if we actually got the data so got users as data okay so now let's open our terminal and uh, let's refresh our app and we got the users in the console and we hopefully should get two users so uh, we got john snow and we got the other user as tom so we're getting the user now we can set this user into our state so let's remove this and set users as data and now we can remove the dummy data as well so first it will show the loading and then it will fetch the user and show the users for now we have two users but now we need to change the dummy values to real user values so let's go to our chat list component and uh, here we need to go to chat item first let's replace the user image so let's remove this dummy image and use the uri as the item dot profile url and let's save this okay we can see the real images of the users now we're not gonna use this image component because it doesn't use cache and we're gonna remove this and use the image component from expo image and here we need to add a style for this image so let's just copy the styles from previous image component and uh, let's also add a border radius here as well as 100 and let's add a source that will be the item dot profile url 
now we're gonna add a placeholder for this image so until the real image is load uh, we will show this blur hash that we used before and for the fade in animation time let's use 500 milliseconds and let's close this and save it again we can see the transition so we have added the image now we're gonna change the name to the username of the item and let's save this we can see john snow and tom we're gonna leave the time and the last message as it is we will work on that later but now we have a list of users coming from firebase and it does not include the currently logged in user now when user presses on this chat item it needs to open a message history page so let's have a function open chat room and here we're gonna push to another route but we're also gonna pass the item data because we're gonna need it on the chat room page so path name will be slash chat room and for the parameters we will pass the item so let's save it so this chat room page doesn't exist and if we click on it we will get an error so let's go to our app group and inside this let's create a new file chat room dot js add a functional component and uh, let's change the name to capital chat room uh, let's save this now it should work now let's refresh our app and if we click on the chat item we move to chat room okay now we need to get this data on the chat room that we passed from the chat list component so let's create an item and we can use a hook use locale search params and this will get us the data that we passed from the router so let's console log got item and console the item and save it okay so in the console you can see we got the item data and as we clicked on john snow so we got his profile user id and user name this is very useful because we can use this data to fetch the message history between the currently logged in user and this user and uh, we can also use this data to display that user in the chat room so that we know who are we talking to in that chat room so this is it for this video and in the next video we're gonna work on our chat room section so see you in the next video